As a 14-year-old from a twice-broken home, I was an unstoppable force. In high school, I hung out with the wrong crowd and was suspended for consuming cannabis during PE. My middle school mandated that I attend Lake Area Recovery Center in Ohio, an outpatient drug rehab facility. It didn't help anything. With one failed drug test after another, the school made me persona non grata. Eventually, the local judge and my parents decided it was time I ended up living with my father in Erie, Pennsylvania. Once I arrived, I wasn't sure how things would go. My dad had a bum knee. After five surgeries, he was unable to manage his pain with synthetic drugs, so he turned to cannabis. Cannabis was my drug of choice for anxiety and stress, but I wasn't just a casual user. I grew my own cannabis. The five foot tall plants in my basement were more than medicine. They provided the resinous glue that brought my dad and I closer. Together we tended the seedlings, watered the plants, and processed the buds for smoking. Who needs a family therapist when you can grow your own cannabis plants as a social activity? Our relationship was flowering like the cannabis buds that were growing beneath our feet. My dad and I got closer working around pot plants. Sneaking out of the house and hanging out with my rebellious friends was no longer appealing anymore. Eventually, the University of Colorado Denver awarded me with distinction, a bachelor's degree in history. Also, I'm a member of the Honor Society and received cum laude at my university. These accomplishments were made possible only with support from my dad. He saw through the thick cloud of pot smoke my potential. My dad pushed me to join the Air Force and encouraged me to go to college and to be the best father and stoner I could be. Thank you.